Hey guys, it's Dana and it's time to talk about money. In this video, I really wanted to talk about millionaires, how they dress, how they live, and some rules with your children if you are affluent. Okay, so one of my all time favorite books is The Millionaire Next Door by Tom Stanley. I like the audiobook. I like that it is read by Cotter Smith. I just love his voice. I could listen to that. I have listened to that audiobook over and over again um, while I'm working, doing things. Just, I just like I just like the sound of his voice. And I always pick up little things every single time I listen to that audiobook, um, the unabridged version. And one of the things in that book that is discussed is how millionaires live and what they look like and how many people judge others based off how they look, right? You, you just you look at someone and you think, oh, they have money. And most of the time you, you make that judgment based off of them dressing in high-end clothing or living in a high, high-end, high-profile neighborhood, right? They have got a big home. They drive a really fancy car. They're wearing a really expensive watch, jewelry, makeup, all these things. We look at people and we make these snap judgments that they must be superior or affluent, wealthy because of these things. However, in this book, in this study, um, Tom Stanley, Tom Stanley found that that wasn't true. Actually, the millionaires, they did not dress in the most expensive suits and they did not wear the most expensive watches and they lived in neighborhoods that were more on the lower end or middle. They did not live in the high profile neighborhoods, right? So they, they didn't drive really expensive cars and they were frugal. In fact, he said there was three words to profile the affluent and the three words were frugal, frugal, frugal. The opposite of frugal is wasteful and high consumption, right? If you are judging people based off what they look like, the toys that they have in their yard, you could be so wrong as far as what their net worth actually is. It is very easy to purchase high, high-end products, very easy to, but it's not so easy to accumulate a high net worth. One of my favorite examples in the book is athletes, highly compensated athletes. I, I used to like to watch MTV Cribs. I don't know if you've ever seen that show, if you've heard of it, but basically it's, they take you into a celebrity's home and you see they're like, you know, 10 cars in their driveway and their huge mansions or huge pools all of everything's very sparkly shiny and they're showing like their their crib right their their big giant house and then this is supposed to be the symbol of wealth and success however in the millionaire next door tom stanley talks about if if you make five million dollars a year as an athlete and your net worth is only one million dollars you're actually doing quite poorly. It's actually not as impressive when you look at it that way. And many athletes have a huge income. They're making tons of money, but the problem is they are spending all of it and most likely they will not hang on to their wealth if they are living that kind of lifestyle. It's just not sustainable. However, we are looking at these images of celebrities and athletes spending all this money, buying all these fancy cars, taking all these lavish vacations, and that is what we think is, is the symbol of, of wealth, of having money. And in actuality, it's the opposite. The people who you do not expect to be wealthy most likely are. The people who are not dressing in fancy suits, not buying all this high-end expensive jewelry, those are the ones who probably are multi-millionaires. Okay, now what I want to go over is rules for the affluent for your children. I have four kids and we uh, would like to follow these rules and uh, I have them written down so I don't ever forget and this is so that you can help your children to also develop the habits and skills that they can also be wealthy when they get older so that they can you know do you want to help to instill that frugal 
frugal, frugal, frugal <laughs> mentality. And first on the list is to never tell your children that you are wealthy, at least not until they're older, old enough to handle it. When they're younger, if you tell them that you are wealthy, a lot of times they, they can't really process that very well and they're just going to probably think that they can just spend money on anything, tell their friends, we've got gobs of money, we can do whatever. And it's not going to help to develop their character to be people who are frugal. Which brings me to the second rule, which is to teach discipline and frugality and to lead by example. If you're spending tons of money on all kinds of things and your kids are seeing you do this, then they're going to develop those same habits and they most likely will not become frugal when they get older. So you want to lead by example by teaching discipline and frugality. Teach your children that there are a lot of things more valuable than money, kindness, love, a giving spirit, spirituality. There are so many things that are more important than money. Money should not be the focus. It is not what rules our lives. Yes, true, it is very important, but it is not the center of everything. So obviously there are so many more things that are way more important. And so keeping the focus on those things is going to help your children to not um, base all their decisions on money. You don't want that either. Advise your children to become well-educated professionals. So your intellect is your capital. In the book, he talks a lot about how there are examples where immigrants were discussing how you could take away your business, but you can't take away your intellect. So you can always make money if you have developed some kind of skill that you can take with you no matter where you go. So if they take away all your equipment, you'd still be able to go somewhere and perform your job. So you can never really lose, you won't, you'll always be able to make money if you develop some kind of professional skill, correct? And that would be if you're a doctor, if you're a doctor and you had to move to another country, you would be able to be a doctor, you could help others and earn money because of what you learned, correct? So if you're a dentist, there's always gonna be people who need help with teeth, you could earn money that way. But if you did some kind of trade and you needed your equipment or you needed your product in order to make money, then it's gonna be a lot harder, uh, correct? So that's why you want to develop some kind of professional skill. Don't try to compete with your children. Don't get involved in their affairs when they become adults. If they don't ask your opinion, don't give it. Once your children are adults, they are adults and you can sort of develop a different relationship with them more along, not friends, but you're, it's, you're no longer a parent, so you can't interfere. That's not true, you're still a parent, but you don't have that same relationship once your children grow up, move out, marry, have their own children. So try your best not to interfere in their lives. It's one of the rules. And give in kindness, not out of obligation. I have a couple other things that I wanted to share with you that I think I picked up from Chris Hogan's Millionaire, um, Everyday Millionaire book. They lived in the same neighborhood their whole lives. They married only once. They own a service company. They live next door to someone who is, a, is of lower socioeconomic status than they are. They're a saver, investor, and they're first generation rich. Okay, and then some other millionaire keys Make it automatic means just automatically invest 401k or if you can just set up an automatic savings, something that just direct deposits into a savings account. Be consistent, continue doing it, be very consistent. Have self-control, that's so important, self-control to be able to say no to yourself and to others and have your end goal in sight. It's always important to have a goal. So make sure you're looking towards the future. It'll help you to get there. And um, so I like to, so I try to study other millionaires, other people who are wealthy. If that's your goal, if that's something you're striving for, you have to try to study people who have been successful with it. So continue to read books, listen to books, um, podcasts, so much information out there. And make sure you're trying to spend time with people who are where you want to be. And I'm sure everybody has heard, or maybe not, the saying, the Texas saying, big hat, no cattle. The millionaire next door talks about that. There's a business owner 
in Texas and his business partners came in from another country. They walked all around the office looking for him and they thought he was a truck driver because of the way he was dressed. But in fact, he was a multimillionaire and he was saying, I don't wear big hats, but I have a lot of cattle. So that's the saying, you dress all nice, you have a big hat, but you might not have a lot of cattle being net worth, money. <laughs> so I think that just because someone's dressed all nice doesn't mean that they have anything backing it up. They might have no actual real wealth or real money in their bank account. And this is the problem with all of us comparing each other to our neighbors and to other people is that I've got neighbors who have all kinds of toys in their yard and they're always taking vacations. I have no idea what their net worth is. I don't know what their financial situation is. But if I was comparing myself to them, I could feel like we were doing kind of bad. We're really just not in a good place because we don't have all those fancy toys in our yard. But I have no idea what their net worth is and they don't know what mine is. So yeah, big hat, no cattle. Okay, you guys, that's it. If it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe. Hopefully this video helps you to think a little bit about the people you're looking at and how you judge them and also help you to adopt some, some, uh, some certain traits, frugal, 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 to help yourself to build wealth and to become a millionaire. I am here every single Tuesday, so be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you next week. Bye, guys.